Here's another example of a first order linear problem. And again, it fits the standard form y prime plus something times y equals something else. As we've done before, we'll start by looking for the integrating factor. And that starts with this coefficient of y. In this case, that's just a constant. So i equals e to the integral of 2 dx or e to the 2x. Now we can multiply that on both sides of the equation. And I'm going to go ahead and on the left side, skip to the part where we have that integrating factor times y prime, rather than writing the expanded form and then writing this condensed form. I'm gonna jump straight to that point because we know, again, that's gonna happen every time with a first order linear problem. As long as we have it written in the standard form first and we pick i carefully using the formula we've shown. Then the right hand side will be two e to the x times e to the two x. So that's two e to the three x. Remember with exponents, when you multiply two things with the same base, you add the exponents. So then at that point, we can integrate both sides. The left hand side is very simple. Integrating just undoes the derivative. And then we need to integrate two e to the three x dx. That again needs a quick u substitution. I'm going to skip over that process. So if you need to pause and do the u substitution, but it's one that's relatively simple. The e to the three x, when we integrate, will get e to the three x, but then that three will need a one third to balance it so that when you go to take the derivative, things will all cancel correctly. And you can see that if you let u equal 3x, you would need a one third in your du and so on. And again, you can pause and go through the whole u substitution process if you would like to. But that's what you should get when you integrate. And that equals e to the 2x times y. Again, to solve for y, we're gonna divide by e to the 2x. On the first term, e to the 3x divided by e to the 2x, we're just gonna subtract those exponents. So we'll get e to the 1x. And then on the other one, we'll have c divided by e to the 2x, or we can write e to the negative 2x. Either way is fine. If you prefer to write it as c divided by e to the 2x, that's perfectly fine. 